It's a small percentage of people, who do the 80 hour a week high powered career thing, and they're almost all men. Why? Well, men are driven by socio-economic status more than women. It's in the best interest of the radical left types, best psychological and strategic interest, to refuse to admit to the possibility that, reasonable people can object to their ideological staff. Because if reasonable people objected, that would imply, that their ideological stance is not reasonable. People have been fed this diet of pabulum, rights, and impulsive freedom. There's just an absolute starvation for the other side of the story. People have this capacity within them, to set the world straight. You can think of the entire internet as a place, where ideas embodied in cyberspace are having a war, and it's not much different than the war of gods in heaven, which has been taking place since there's been human beings. The right-wingers don't want to admit that for some people, there are no jobs, they think that, conscientiousness in and of itself, will do the trick. There's no doubt that inequality destabilizes societies. I think, the social science evidence on that front is crystal clear. Kathleen Wynne, and her band of radical left cronies, think, they have a handle on what constitutes human identity, and also what should constitute human morality. And I think that, that's being pushed in a manner in schools that's completely reprehensible. It's not education, in my estimation. It's a form of indoctrination. The connection between psychology, mythology, and literature, is as important, as the connection between psychology, and biology, and the hard sciences. All things considered, there's nobody better for children, than parents. The answer to the problem of inequality is for the people, who are fortunate enough, to either have been gifted, or deserved more to do everything they can, to make the communities around them, as strong as they possibly can. Whether or not I like a piece of data, has very little bearing on, whether or not I am likely to accept it. I've 20,000 hours of clinical practice, you're not naive after the first few thousand. I've helped people deal with things, that most people can't imagine. 